My name is Dr. Webb Garrison, and I have taught um, uh, transpersonal model, models of human development, as well as psychotherapy integration, uh, individual and relational. So those are the two courses to this point that I've been teaching. And so for you, what initially led you to wanting to teach in higher education in the first place? Honestly, my own college experience, because of the ways that I engaged my studies, I engaged them in very personal ways. I didn't engage them simply in intellectual ways. Um, and I was a religious studies major. So I was, I was in college, I was learning about mysticism and I was also experimenting with my own uh, uh, experiences within the mystical realm. So, um, so, so I kind of like landed in the lap of transformative education or transformational education just by virtue of the way that I tend to learn. It's, I, I, I find that, it, that when I teach, I move into the spontaneous realm in which I have access to all of this different information. And I never know exactly what I'm gonna say. That's the reality. When I'm, you know, I don't, I don't can my lectures. I don't can much of anything. Um, uh, because I believe that in the teaching process, we're also responding to what is in the room and what is in the present. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm inevitably striving for that. So that's kind of what led me into, um, uh, into education. Uh, and I love it. It's just, you know, I love teaching. It's just, it's, it's probably one of my deepest callings, I would say. My experience is that when I teach something to someone new, it's almost as though I'm learning it again, okay? So it's like this, so, so it's this nice uh, process. It's almost like a beginner's mind process, okay? Like I've taught, like with when I taught Prince with Prince Review SAT questions, I taught the same questions hundreds of times, like literally. But what kept it fresh was the interaction. What kept it fresh was the educational process, the relationships. And so what I found, um, uh, and what I have found teaching at Meridian is that students really do engage this material very personally, and um, and engage it as a as a process of personal transformation, which I think that's what it should be when it comes down to it. What's your favorite thing about teaching at Meridian? What stands out? I think what stands out is that I am able to move into my create my own creativity and that's supported. I mean, you know, this is kind of like the classic philosophy thing. Like philosophy is not about, you know, answering questions. It's about questioning answers, right? So that is, is baked into uh, the curriculum here. And I, that is something that I really value tremendously. I think that, I think that that's the way to live. You know, mainstream education is uh, very intellect heavy, you know, um, it's not it's not so experience rich. And so being able to move directly into experience and to feel what does this approach feel like to me? How do I imagine this? What is that? You know, where does that land in me? Where do I feel that? You know, like all of these kinds of things. These are really, really important insights um, that uh that provide a foundation for working effectively within the field of mental health. I mean, that's the reality. What would you say to a prospective student who's maybe watching this video and on the fence about joining Meridian? Any advice, any tips? If you're a person who is interested in reflecting on your own experience and moving into self-understanding, and not only understanding who you are and what you bring to the table and the depths of your own psyche or soul or consciousness, depending on what you, you know, how you understand these things. But, you know, if you're interested in engaging that relationally and being in a community that values that, Meridian is a place that values this and welcomes this. Is there anything that you think um, would be important to add? I think that one of the things that's just really, really important to emphasize across the board is the centrality of uh, being involved in creative in, in one's own personal creative process in whatever form that takes, whether it be artistic, whether it be intellectual, philosophical, whether it be the way a person takes a walk and the way a person looks at the sunset. I mean, there's a, there can be an artistic or creative quality to that, right? The, the, the kind of the spirit that we bring to that. So I guess that, that I think that's a part of my personal and professional philosophy, that one of the things that, that vitalizes us is um, staying in touch with that creative core.